everyone. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Welcome to the Mount Olive AME Church of Orlando, Florida, Sunday morning time of worship. Hallelujah. Somebody just ought to give God a hand clap of praise this morning just for being such a good, merciful, and a, just a loving God. Hallelujah. We are just so thankful for each and every one of you who decided to join us this morning for our time of worship. We just thank and praise God that you are here and that you are alive and well. God truly has given us another blessed day just to come together to worship and praise his name. At this time, let us all just praise God from whom all blessings flow. is going to rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what's going on in the world around us, we know that God is good. Amen. You ought to be able to testify this morning of the goodness of the Lord in your life. And I know that God, he is able to bring us through whatever we're going through. And you know, the thing about it, he will never leave nor forsake us. My, my, my God. So we just thank and praise God this morning just for this day. Uh, we have, we are alive and well, and it's the third Sunday in the month of September. Truly, God is good. And, and if, you know what, if I was you, I would just take a moment and just give God some praise right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your own way, just give God just a minute of praise. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. We adore you, God. We lift you up, God. We magnify your name, God. And we just thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, uh, just let us prepare our hearts and minds as we go to the Lord in prayer. And you know, one of the highest forms of prayer is praise. So we've already started. Amen. It's when we forget about ourselves and, and when we just put our minds on the Lord. And when we just put our minds on Jesus, because everything that we need is in him. Amen. We try to figure so much out and it gets overwhelming to us, but we just, when we rest in his presence, my Lord, and let him do what he does best in our lives. If you have a concern on your hearts this morning, if you have a need in your life this morning, or if there's anything that you want God just to do for you or or for someone that you love in your life just 
begin to petition God in your hearts as we go before the throne of grace this morning. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we exalt you. Hallelujah. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name and we give you glory. Oh God, we thank you for being our God. Oh God, we can ask you for so many things this morning, but we just want to give you some praise. Oh God, we want to give you some honor. We want to give you the glory. Oh God, because you've been so good to us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We uh, say hallelujah this morning. Ha, we give you the highest praise because you deserve our praise. You deserve our worship. Uh, not because, hallelujah, anything that we've done, Lord God, but we praise you, God, for what you are and what you have done for us. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord God. We thank you, God, for the sun that shines in the sky. We thank you for the clear blue skies. We thank you, Lord, for the breath that we breathe. We thank you, Lord God, for clothes to wear, food on our table. We thank you, Lord God, for being a provider. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for being a way maker. We thank you, Lord, for being our protector. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for us helping us. Lord God, when we, Lord God, could not find our own way. We thank you, Lord God, for your protection from seen and unseen dangers. We thank you, Lord God, just for being God. We thank you, Lord God, when the storms of life are raging. Oh, that you, Lord God, can speak to the storm, say, peace, be still, and the storm cease. Lord God, we thank you this morning oh, for being our Jehovah Rapha. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for your healing touch. My, my God, we thank you, Lord God. We even when the doctor said no, hallelujah, God. Oh, God, you came in the room, Lord God, and you touched these feeble bodies of ours, Lord God, and your healing virtue oh, just permeated all throughout our being and restored us to health. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you for your goodness your love and your mercy. We thank you, hallelujah, that even when our mother and father had to forsake us, that you were right there to lift us up. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, God, that you are our provider, that you supply every one of our needs according to your riches and glory. So we just come this morning, Lord God, to invite you to come into our worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come into our homes, Lord God. Oh God, come into our technical devices, Lord God. Oh God, come into our hearts, Lord God. Oh God, allow your spirit just to move all in us this morning. Oh God, move anything, God, that will hinder your Holy Spirit, God, from speaking to us, Lord God. Allow your holy presence, Lord God, to come into our places of worship, God. Oh God, in our hearts, Lord God, so that we can receive from you all that you have for us. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for what you're about to do. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God. Ah, oh, the things, Lord God, that have been out of order, Lord God, are shifting, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord God, that that healing, God, we've been asking you for, God. Oh, God, is being released even right now in the atmosphere, God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that that situation that's been troubling our minds, God. Oh, God, that you're bringing the peace, God, that surpasses all understanding. 
Lord God, we thank you this morning as we just take time, God, to honor you, to praise you, to tell you we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you're about to do. And we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. If you'll turn with me now to our scripture reading, coming from the book of John. Hallelujah. And as we continue in our worship, we just ask that you just open up your hearts to receive the word that God is about to speak into our lives. Amen. From the scriptures this morning. Scripture reading, St. John chapter 15, and I'll be reading verses 1 through 11. And it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide, abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Now these things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. Thus in the reading of our scripture text this morning, coming from the book of St. John chapter 15, verses one through 11. And may the Lord bless the hearers, the doers of his most holy word. Amen. And at this time, we turn to the hands of our pastor for our worship through giving. <clears throat> Greetings, my brothers and my sisters in the Lord. We're so thankful for the blessedness of God's presence in your lives. As we come now, an opportunity, another opportunity to give unto the Lord, another opportunity to invest into the kingdom of God. We give because God instructed us to give. We give because we love God and appreciate him. We give because we celebrate him as a provider of all of our lives. As we come now uh, to our giving, as God told us to bring up our tithes and our offerings into his storehouse, which is the church. And we come. And you can do that by going to our website and giving. That's, that's uh, mtoliveorlando.com. Uh, if you have the Givelify app, uh, you can go to uh, our Mount, uh, Mount Olive, Orlando, and give. Uh, you can drop it in the mail. 
Amon Olive AME Church, Tension Finances, excuse me, Tension Finance at 2525 West Church Street, Orlando, Florida, 32805. Uh, uh, even if you're near the church, you can go by and drop it off there personally. Somebody will be there to receive your gift. And we're so thankful and appreciative of you uh, for your giving into the ministry. And this time, if you would hold your gifts up before the Lord, as we bless what God has blessed us with, as we give them back to, uh, to him. And now together we release God. This is my gift. This is my gift. Uh, this is my gift. It is a seed. It is a seed. And I plant it in this ministry. And I plant it in this ministry. I'm expecting a harvest in this ministry. I'm expecting a harvest in this ministry. And in my life. And in my life. I'm expecting it to be. I'm expecting it to be. Exceedingly. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Abundantly. Above. Above. All that I ask. Thank God. All that I ask. Thank God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank the Lord. I thank, I thank the Lord that I'm able to give. That I'm able to give. Able to give. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ah, go and put your hand together and bless Amen. the Lord for your giving unto the Lord, your obedience to the Lord, and your giving and sharing and investing into the kingdom of God. And those of you that have invested into the kingdom of God, may the blessedness of God's favor, mm, uh, may the prosperity of God's love, Mm, I'll run you down, find you, and pour blessings out within your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us say amen. Oh, God bless you now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the blessings of the Lord. Make it rich and add us no sorrow. Hallelujah. Just look for God just to bless you real good this week. Amen. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I know he will do it. Glory to God. And we just abide in him. And we just got to abide in that vine this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you know what? We going to worship this morning. Glory to God, hallelujah, my, my, my God, even if you, hallelujah, are just sitting there looking at your computer screen or at your, your, your iPad or, or at your television monitor, my God, hallelujah, just begin to worship God in your spirit, glory to God, for we worship in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. God is about to speak. God is about to speak a word. God is about to speak a word into our lives. Glory to God. And we need to be prepared. Hallelujah. To receive what God is about to do for us on this day. Hallelujah. So as we listen, my God, to the words of the selection that Brother Elder is obtained, just to meditate on his words and allow the Spirit of God to move you into a place of worship that you can receive what God has for this day, for this time, in this season. At this time, Brother Elder is coming uh, with our selection after that. The next voice you will hear is that of our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Marky e. Crutcher. Amen. <laughs>
verse this morning is coming from that passage of scripture of John my my Lord I want to lift up uh, uh starting at verse one a few verses of that I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Hmm. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself 
Mm. Unless it abide in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I want to speak to you from the subject. Stay on the vine. Stay on the vine. Stay on the vine. Mm. Jesus truly declares that he is the true vine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that connects sinful humanity with the holy God and creator of all the universe. Mm -hmm. mm. Because humans exist in a state of sin and death, which is outside of the will of God. We are unable unable to generate righteousness of our own. Mm. And therefore we don't have the righteousness that's needed to bear good fruit of God. Mm. However, God has moved heaven and earth so that through Christ Jesus our Lord, believers are able to bear the fruit of the spirit of God. Mm. My, my Lord. The, the, the fruit of the spirit, the fruit, the fruit of goodness, of love, of joy, of peace, of forbearance, of kindness, of faithfulness, of gentleness, and self-control. My, my, my God. Therefore, uh, we have been connected to the Holy Father through our relationship with Christ Jesus, who declared that I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so and through Christ, we become extensions of God and able to bear good fruit, the fruit of the spirit. Mm. Through his death and his resurrection, he reconciled us back to the father. Mm. And therefore he is the true vine of life that connects sinful humanity with a holy God and father. And, and now those of us who are believers in Christ Jesus, we have to stay on the back, stay connected if we want to bear good fruit for the Lord. I hold in my hand a mango. A mango. Uh, I bought uh, last week, uh, I guess last week sometime, three of these from out of the grocery store. Uh, when I bought it, it was much uh, darker green than it is now. When I bought it, it was harder than it is now. When I bought it, it had no aroma because it was not fully ripe. Hmm. So, so, so the question asks, how do, how do God know? when our fruit are ripe. So the question asks me a question that is, how can you tell when the mango get ripe and ready to eat? And, and, and so, uh, so, so that, 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 that spear has the question, how do God know when our fruit is ripe for the picking and ready to infuse in somebody else's life? Well, th th there's a way to tell. Uh, and, 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 the, and the mango uh, gives some reasons behind this mango that I bought. As a matter of fact, now this one is a lot riper than it was. And it's about ready uh, to eat it even now. Uh, one thing you have to understand, fruit need to remain on the vine together the flavor and the sweetness uh, from the source through the sap that flows throughout the plant. It has sap in it. 
And that sap is what gives the sweetness and the flavor to the fruit that you would eat. Mm. If, if you pluck it off too soon, uh, it won't have the sweetness. Mm. Mm. You ever heard them they're saying tree ripened fruit? Thank you, God. And, and the tree ripened fruit means that it stayed on the tree or the vine long enough to get the substance uh, from out of the, 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 the vine of the tree that is needed to sweeten it up and give flavor to it uh, for when you get ready to consume it. Mm, my, my, my God. If you, if you pick it off too soon, it won't even ripen. And, and, and you can pick it off at a point where it'll ripen, but it won't be sweet. Mm, I just said something. And, 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 and so, 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 so I told you that we become extensions of God. Uh -huh. mm. And by being extensions of God, we're able to produce fruit uh, that God wants to share with the rest of the world. Mm. See, it's not all about you. God didn't just save you for you. And, 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 and I want you to understand, you're not the fruit. You are an extension of the vine. You're one of the branches of the vine that produce fruit for the world. My God, you are a fruit producer, mm, not the fruit. Mm, my, my God, God don't want to consume you. He want folk around you not to consume you, but the fruit that you produce, the goodness that's in you, uh, the love in you, the joy that's in you. Do you know some people love is bitter? Mm. Because they ain't connected enough to the vine to get the sweetness out of the vine. Mm. The peace uh, that's in you, the forbearance, the kindness, the faithfulness, that's what he wants them to be able to taste of the fruit that he produced through you. My, my, my Lord. And, 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 and so it's important that you stay connected to the vine that you can produce good fruit. And if you don't, you're going to wind up with some sour fruit, mm. Mm. bitter fruit, mm. some bad fruit. My, my, my God. And, 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 and so, so, yeah, you've been through some things because God has been pruning you. Mm. Yeah. You, 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 and when you, when the tree first comes, you have to take some of the fruit off because if it, if it, if it does, it'll just, just, just produce all kinds of fruit, but there'll be little and not tiny. Yeah, and so so he takes some off, mm. so that so that so that the ones that 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 remain is good fruit, good size, good texture, and have plenty of good flavor. Mm. And so that the sap can nourish them and strengthen them. Mm. Now, that, now there's three ways that you can tell whether the fruit is right, and just like with the mango. One and and, and 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 it is through visual presentation. Yeah. Uh, second one, uh, it is it, it which is referred to as revelations. Uh, visual presentations uh, through uh, revelations. That's a release, and through interactions. Now, what does it got to do with the fruit? Now. First of all, uh, the mangoes were sitting here in the house at a basket that we set them in. They sat there in the basket. And, and, and one day I passed by the basket. When I passed by the basket, I could smell the aroma that they were giving off. They, they gave off an aroma. And see, when, when, when mangoes get ripe, they start giving off a, a sweet aroma Mm. In other words, they give you a taste. They give you a smell of what they taste like. Mm. Oh my God. And, 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 and the aroma that is released is like revelations that are released in the spirit. And, and, and so when God looks down at you, he sees the revelations that you are releasing uh, into other people's lives. My, my God. And, 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 so, and, and, and those revelations are aroma to the Lord. Uh, just like the mango gives an aroma uh, uh, and a smell that 
fills the room. And so, and when you hear the word of God, uh, the, 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 his righteousness is released in you. Mm, and that's the sap coming down. My, my God is released in you. But when you speak the word of God in faith, uh, that, that, that righteous aroma is released into the world. My, my, my God. And, 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 and so when you speak the word of God in faith, that righteous aroma is released into the world. And then when you live in obedience to God uh, through uh, his righteousness uh, is made alive and, and spread out to everybody you influence. Mm. Second Corinthians says, now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ. My, my God. And through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Mm. You hear that? He diffuses the fragrance or releases the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Mm. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ mm. among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. We become a sweet savior. Uh, we become a, a sweet aroma that goes up to God by those who receive the word and those who speak the word in faith and surely by those who obey the word of God. God said, let your light so shine among men that they might see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. My, my God. So these are the revelations, uh, uh, your revelations of, of God's word and of God's goodness and of God's mercy and God's love is what the folk will be able to experience uh, even before they get close to you. My, my God. They can see you from afar and, and, and they, can they can smell the aroma of the goodness of God that's being released from you. My, my, my God. And, 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 and so we ought to be a sweet savor to the world. Uh, we, we ought to be able to let our light shine that somebody out there in the darkness will be able to know that God is a marvelous God. Uh, before they even get close to you, they, they ought to be able to, 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 to smell the aroma of the goodness of the Lord, the sweetness of the Lord, just from hearing your words. My, my, my God. Now, Tell you something else about this mango. I told you it was a dark green, dark green color when I bought it. But as you see now, it is it, it is lighting up, uh, and, and 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 the color is changing. You can still see the greenness, but you can see some yellowness comes in there, and oftentimes you'll see some redness uh, as well that will come in different colors. Uh, It'll lighten up. It is not as dark as green. It was a dark, real dark green when I bought it. But now you see it is lightening up all over the mango. And, and, and what that is, is the visualization uh, of the image that is presented. You need to know that you present an image in the world. My, my God. Uh, and so what image are you presenting? Ah, uh, glory to God. This is the visualization versus revelation. Then visualization, what do they see? That they smell the aroma, but when they, that the aroma draws them that way uh, and, and, and they're drawn to the sweetness of it. But when they get near enough to see you, what do they see? My, my, my God. Uh, and, 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 and so what is the image that you are presenting? Mm, my God. Uh, uh, Romans 8 and 29 says, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. My, my, my God. So in other words, you were predestined uh, uh, to be conformed to the image of Christ. Uh, you were predestined to look like Christ. My God. So when they see you, do they see Christ or do they see Satan? Uh, do they see Christ or do they see you? Uh, are you in his way? Or can they see the Christ in you? And, and since you were predestined uh, uh, to be conformed to his image, you were also predestined to reflect that image into the world. My, my God. Do you think that God saved you 
just for you? Ah, oh, my, my, my God. If he just saved you just for you, ah, uh, he could have saved you and killed you right after he saved you and sent you home to glory. But he let you stay around here for a reason, my, my God. Because he wanted you to stay on the vine a while longer. And he wants you to mature a little bit more. He wanted your fruit to get a little sweeter. Uh, he wanted you to conform more to the image of Christ. See, I tell you, the, the, the mango looks quite different from when I bought it. When I bought it, I knew it was not ready to eat. Uh, but I knew if I let it sit there a while, uh, it would transform right before my eyes. My, my God. And now I can see more of the color that tells me that it's ready uh, to be consumed. Uh, and, and, and so the Lord saying, I'm watching to see if your fruit uh, uh, reflect Christ into the world. Are you producing fruit that remind people of my son, Jesus? Uh, are you producing fruit that tell them of uh, there's a Christ that's loving them in the world? My, my God. And, 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 and what he's also looking to see uh, is, uh, are you presenting fruit that can transform the world? Uh, what are you giving folk? Uh, what are you feeding folk? Are you feeding them lies? Uh, are you feeding them hatred? Like we see out that in the uh, in the political arena so much. Uh, uh, the feeding of hate, the feeding of divisiveness, the feeding of division, the feeding of supremacy that's spreading all across this country. My, my God. God said, no, that's not my free time. My, my God. Uh, the evangelicals are. Uh, jumped on the Trump wagon huh, and declared the Trump, he's the one that got the right fruit huh, to make this nation great again. But the spirit of the Lord said, no, no, because huh, I didn't make this, this nation to be a nation of supremacy. Hmm. My, my God, I sent you over here huh, from out of your hardship huh, so that you can help build a nation huh, that all of my children are. Huh, could come and share together, black, white, brown, green, yellow, whatever color, uh, that the goodness of the Lord would be with them. Uh, and now that this nation uh, is melting into uh, a real melting pot, uh, there are those that are in our country that are afraid of the melt. Uh, there are those that are afraid that they won't be supreme anymore. There are those that are afraid that they won't be in control. Uh, there are those that are afraid that they won't be able to put the knees on your neck. Uh, but my God says, uh, I didn't send you over here uh, to put your knees and your feet on people's neck, uh, uh, but to pull them up uh, like I pull you up. Uh, uh, to bless them uh, like I bless you. Uh, uh, to make room uh, for those who work hard just like you did how to build this nation. My God. The third way you tell that the mango is ripe is you reach over and touch it. And see, when I bought it, it was very hard. It was hard texture. And the experience that I got was hardness from the mango. Mm -hmm. And I know with the hardness, it was not ready uh, to be consumed. But, 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 but now that I hold it in my hand, there's a softness to it. Mm -hmm. The texture has changed. My, my, my God. And this is the interactions you release. Mm -hmm. uh, God know your fruit by your revelations that you release. And then God know your fruit by the visualizations of the images that you present. But he also know your fruit by the interaction and the texture that people experience uh, when they interact with you. Mm. First of all, God said you got to overcome the hardness of the world <laughs> uh, if you in Christ. My, my, my Lord. The world tend to make us hard hearted, cold hearted standoffish. Uh, it, it seems to make us uh, arrogant. Uh, it seems to make us think we are supreme. It, it tends to make us uh, uh, with, with, with this sense of, I'm going to get you before you can get me. Mm, my God. And, 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 and so 
but we have to overcome the hardness of the world. My, my, my God. Ephesians in the fourth chapter, it is written, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God hmm, by whom you were sealed uh, for the day of redemption. And then he says, let all bitterness, let all wrath, let all anger, let all clamor, and let all evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Get rid of it mm. so that you can be kind to one another, so that you can be tenderhearted, so that you can be forgiving of one another, even as Christ has forgiven you. My, my God. And so he says, you ought to render kindness to one another by the spirit of an almighty God. Now, my God says, uh, you ought to be forgiving of one another, uh, of your trespasses uh, uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that you ought to forgive them uh, as I have forgiven you. Uh, and as a matter of fact, when we are praying, we said, Lord, Forgive us of our transgressions uh, as we forgive those uh, who transgress against us. Uh, uh, God says that the children of the world uh, ought to have some righteous interactions uh, uh, when they run into you. Uh, if your fruit is right uh, in the Lord, uh, you got to stay on the vine. Uh, uh, you got to stay connected uh, uh, because you don't have this by yourself. But if you stay connected to the vine of life, uh, the true vine of Christ, uh, uh, my God, uh, say so you become a sweet aroma uh, to all those around you. Uh, my God, uh, I declare that when they see you, uh, uh, they'll see Jesus uh, uh, in your actions uh, and glorify uh, uh, your Lord in heaven. Uh, uh, my God, uh, say when they touch you, uh, they'll touch the softness of God, uh, uh, the love of God, uh, the compassion of God. Uh, uh, they'll touch the forgiveness of God. Uh, my God, uh, say that you'll make room for somebody else and, and not try to take it all uh, for yourself. Uh, uh, my God, uh, I say that when you are, are you feeling ready? And I know when to pluck them. Uh, uh, my God, uh, say I'm looking for some folk uh, uh, that'll stay on the vine, uh, that'll stay with me uh, when the world going astray. Uh, uh, stay with me uh, when darkness is all around you. Uh, uh, stay with me uh, when sickness is in your body. I uh, stay with me uh, when the enemy. Uh, is on your trail. Uh, uh, stay with me uh, in good times, uh, in bad times. Uh, uh, my God, uh, say if you stay on the vine, uh, I make everything uh, all right in your life. Uh, uh, my God, uh, say if you stay on the vine, uh, you'll produce uh, a good fruit. Uh, uh, my God, uh, say love, I will be your way here. Uh, my God, uh, say joy, I will come in your heart. Uh, uh, my God, uh, say self-control, uh, I'll be your way. Uh, thank you, God. I get through talking to you all. I'm going to go in there and peel this mango. Slice it up. Really. Put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. And when we have uh, dinner today, I, 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 this is going to be uh, dessert. Mm, good slice. Chill mango. With the sweetness. Mmm. I've been smelling the aroma even since I've been talking to you. I can smell the aroma. And God says, if you get close, you can smell the aroma of my goodness if it's in somebody. Mm. And when they see you, they'll see me in the actions that you do. By my God, when they interact with you, that they will touch my love. They will touch my joy. Do you know that you can 
lift somebody else up with the joy that's inside of you. You ought to call somebody sometimes that's downtrodden and let them experience uh, the goodness of God that's in you by God. God. God said, I've been sending through the Holy Spirit. I've been, I've been, and that's the sound of life. I've been sending my goodness to you. I've been sending my mercy to you. I've been sending my love to you. I've been investing my joy in you. And now I need you to let it spread so somebody else uh, can feel my joy. Somebody who's hurting need a little joy. Somebody who's discouraged need a little hope. Uh, somebody who's uh, on the outside need a little forgiveness. Oh, God, my God. Somebody who's been bruised. Uh, I need a little kindness. Stay on the vine. And you'll produce good fruit that God will use to transform the world. My, my God. Have a mango on the Lord. God bless you and God keep you in his care. There may be somebody that's ready to bear good fruit, but you ain't been on the vine. You've been cut off because of your sin. My, my Lord. You've been out there growing with the wild weeds, ragweeds and the tumbleweeds. But God says, time to stop tumbling uh, and come on home. He said, and come on and let me just grab you back onto the vine. And all you got to do with this, you got to just, just, just believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Christ, that he died for your sins and he rose for your life. Mm. And that his death took care of your sin. Death. And you repent of those sins and accept him as your Savior. If you can say that and believe it in your heart, right now you are a child of the Most High God. My God, and we welcome you to the family of God and ask that you would send us a text message, send us a chat message uh, uh, of who you are and how to contact you. And somebody will reach out to you connect you up with the church. We want to thank you right now for the blessedness of his presence. Goodness of God in your life. In Jesus' name. Somebody ought to go and say amen. Mm. All right, our stewards, we're in your hands. Good morning. Good morning, my dollar. Thank you, Pastor, for that word. And thank you for continuing to lead us to the vine in the name of Jesus. I come to you this morning with a few brief announcements. One is that we are looking for teachers for the youth Wednesday night Bible study. We only need a commitment of one night a month. And so we're looking for several people to help out with this initiative. If you're interested, please contact Reverend Henry Dampierre or Reverend, uh, not Reverend, uh, uh, Tamika Fountain Coney. Reach out to either of them. Their names are on the screen as well as their telephone numbers. If you do not capture this, reach out to the church office and we'll get you in touch with one or both of these individuals. Again, looking for teachers for Wednesday night youth Bible study. Thank you. Also, I have a few dates uh, to remind you of. So jot these down. Tomorrow night, September 20th, is our quarterly conference meeting uh, at 7 o'clock p.m. We also have annual conference coming up beginning on September 25th. That's when our youth day is at our central annual conference. All of the events are going to be held virtually this year. Uh, and then the actual annual conference, the full sessions are going to be September 30th through October 1st. Again, these are virtual. Look for your emails, information in the email blast. There's more information on annual conference if you need access information. And then lastly, I want to remind you of Jubilee, Jubilee 2020. That is still going. Uh, we're asking everyone who can make this a priority, if you will. Donate, we're asking, we ask for folks, our members to donate 
$100 a month for 20 months in order to liquidate our mortgage. We are a little bit behind in our goals for sure. However, we ask that you get on board. It is definitely not too late. And if you can't give $100 per month, give what you can. But again, give to Jubilee 2020. And with that said, we have a presentation from our media team. You all have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Praise the Lord. Thank you, uh, Sister Lynn. Thank you so very much. Amen. Uh, for told those persons who were asking about the quality conference, uh, uh, some folks say the, the, the six that they know it's at seven. Uh, that we're going to be at seven. So as we go forth with that quality conference, uh, tune in at the seven uh, and just be blessed in the Lord. We're just so thankful for the blessings of God today and the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And know a lot of people out there are going through some difficult situations. People have sickness and death in their family, uh, and it's, it's it's just everywhere all around. Uh, so so what we want to make sure we have to do in situations like this is we have to stay close to each other, and we have to band together and help each other. We have to pray for each other, and it's a time that 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 people can be able to experience some of that fruit of the of the spirit of the church. They need to feel our love. They need to they need to experience our joy. They need the they need the they need uh, the hope that God has inside of us. They need the peace of God released in them sometimes, because sometimes they're hurting and they need somebody to just speak into their life and say, "Peace, be still." The storms are raging in their lives, and they need the peace that's in you to be released in them. And sometimes they just need your kindness, just a little kindness that helped them through that. And we have to be faithful to do that. We have to be forbearance and move forward and, and with a purpose. And we have to do it in gentleness. Yeah, and we have to get control of some things in our lives so that we can be able to do that and just allow the goodness of the Holy Spirit to flow through us into people's lives. Remember, uh, uh, somebody needs to have some good fruit. And God is looking for some trees that will produce good fruit that he can share into the lives of his people that need them. He doesn't bless you. He's taking care of you. He's gotten you to where you are. You ought to just go ahead on and allow him to produce good fruit to you, to be a blessing to folk all around you. God bless you and God forever keeps you in his care. Hope that we said something that makes a difference in your life. And with that, we say praise God from whom all blessings flow.
praise the Lord. Stay on the vine. Stay on the vine till the revelations of the realm of God's sweetness is released through you. Stay on the vine until the visualization of the image of Christ is presented through you. Stay on the vine until the interactions of God, uh, kindness and sweetness is, 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 is experienced through you. Stay on the vine. My, my, my God. And now unto him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask, we think, imagine, according to the power of God that work in us, to him be glory, to him be majesty, and him, to him be power, now, henceforth, and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, let all of us say, Bless us and keep us all.